Hey there, it's Nikki D. Today I'm going to talk to you about the a new technique that uh, is all the rage. It's called the bokeh. I think it's say, said bokeh. It's B-O-K-E-H technique, um, which I used on this card right here. So I'm just going to show you real quickly how to do that. Um, before you start, you're going to need two to three uh, water-based inks. Um, I have Gypsy, Canary, and Thistle. Um, if you have a problem opening the close to my heart, um, stamp pads, you're going to put your thumb right here and then where these ridges are on each side, go ahead and put your finger and then you're just going to pop it open and flip it inside the lid like that. So I decided to do three because the paper pack I'm using has these three colors. Then you also need white, white pigment base. This is our white daisy pigment. Okay, you're going to need a sponge dauber for each, for each color that you have. You'll need a template with a couple different size circles cut out. Um, this is um, one and a quarter in one. I just want those two to be easy. You will need your card base, which is <clears throat> five and a half by eight and a half, which we're going to fold in half. A piece of white daisy, which is four by five and a quarter. Um, then I have the other pieces that I used. I have a one by four piece. <clears throat> I have a three by two and three quarter piece and a two and three quarter by two piece um, to do this. But the main part of the technique we're going to use on the white daisy. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your different sponge jobbers and you're just going to make some circles um, on your paper. However, wherever and however you want to do it. Um, I start with the lighter colors first. Um, doesn't have to be anything great. So the whole technique is to kind of give an out of focus look. So um, you don't need to be symmetrical. Um, doing this would drive my husband nuts because he has to have symmetrical type stuff. Um, so we're going to do, I'm going to do all three colors. <clears throat> I need some more rain. I'm also using a piece of textured white daisy because I just needed, um, I just needed a scrap, you know, a certain size for this, and I had a scrap piece of this, so I went ahead and used it. But on regular cardstock, it doesn't take as much um, ink as it does with the texture, just because it's going into all those little ridges and things. Okay, so that was the gypsy. Now I'm going to do the thistle. And that one's pretty bright. Now some people do it and they do leave some white. Um, I try not to leave any white. Um, so I just kind of make a little bit of, make something bigger. Um, add some other, some color in places. Some of them might you know, be, it might look a little too much with one of them, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so once you get this to how you want it, you're going to take your template um, of the circles, and you can use different size circles, whatever you want, and you're going to lay the template where you're going to want to see the white, and then you're going to take your sponge dabber with white pigment. This has a little bit of color in it because I've already done about five of these cards, um, and you're just going to Put the white daisy by using the template and take the template away. Then you'll have sort of an out of focus, something that looks like an out of focus dot right there. So then you're just gonna use the template. This time I'll use the smaller circle. Okay. I make sure to put some off of the edge too. Um, and this is our all purpose mat, so it will, I can just clean that off if any of it gets out. And this is kind of a, you know, what you think looks good and what you're happy with. Um, oh, I'm not holding it close enough. So it's not hard enough. So it's not sticking. Okay, let's do a little one over here. Okay. So, we got that. Okay, so after you do that, then you're going to want to 
make your card base. This is our scoreboard. Um, if you don't have one, you're, you can just go ahead and guess and uh, do it in half. So we're going to do it at four and a quarter. Uh, fold it in half. Oh, I didn't do it right. <laughs> so even with the scoreboard, sometimes I need help. <laughs> See, anybody can do this, so it's not hard. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my adhesive and put this. Oops, I'm still not. There we go. So I'm going to put this over there and I'll cover that up. There we go. And then my little strip, I'm just going to put. I'm going to put it right about here. It's a little short, but that's okay because I'm going to stick to the block right there. Um, but I'm going to put my stamp on. So let's just put that there. Put this to the side. Uh, I'm actually going to stamp on my yellow. Some people prefer to only stamp on white. Again, whatever floats your boat. This paper that I'm using is from our Taste of Summer pack. Um, these are the back sides. Um, the other sides have cute little fruits and things on them, but since I was doing this technique, I thought that would be a little, a little kind of too much. So anyway, um, I'm using two stamp sets, um, a budding friendship, and um, just to say collection, this one actually comes with one of our fixed cartridges. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two flowers um, and these two leaves, and then I've got um, the stem right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You do need a clear block. Um, if you've not used acrylic, I mean, uh, yeah, the clear, my acrylic stamps before. So I'm going to stamp the outline of the flower in Gypsy. And then I'm going to use Thistle and use the fill-in. So you got to kind of line it up. Okay. Um, now I can also get out pear to do the stem. I don't want it to get on the uh, on the purple part. And the stem is a little bit longer, so I'm just going to put a piece of white there and then stamp. And then when I'm done, it's not there's nothing there on the purple. And then. The outline of the leaves is going to be pear as well. Okay, now we do have a fill-in um, for the leaves that we can use. I'm going to use sweet leaf, but it's pretty light, so I don't know if people are going to be able to see it when I do it. Um, I might go over it with our... Um, acrylic markers because it's very very light and I can't really see it very much especially because it's on the yellow so I don't know if you can see that but it's really low, light there okay so then I'm going to take is that crooked? it's kind of hard to tell when you're yeah it's a little crooked when you're sitting down I usually have it on something that's sitting up or I'm standing up so that I can it's still crooked wow you guys are seeing me on a great day aren't you Alrighty. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna stick this right on here on the edge. Like, oh, maybe that wants to stick. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to take the Happy Mother's Day. That's in this set. Sorry, I just realized you guys can't see me doing that. So. Okay, and Happy Mother's Day. All right, so Happy Mother's Day is up there. Um, now I also did, I'm still working on these. Um, I might do them a little bit more. We have these white stars and you can paint them or you can color them with our Sheehan touch markers, uh, which they look like this. Um, so I did some yellow and some pink ones I may put on there, but these need to dry in between and I'm, you can kind of tell I colored them, so I'm going to want to do them again. Um, 
but you can put any kind of embellishments or anything like that. So anyway, there's a quick demonstration. I hope you like it, um, and everybody have a great Mother's Day. Bye-bye.